All right, we're here with Terrence Halls of Day Christian. Terrence, recently you chose Duke as your college. Talk about what went into that decision, why the Blue Devils, and why what you liked about their program. Well, uh, first of all, with Duke, I just felt academic-wise it could help me in the long run. And football-wise, I just feel like I could, I could go and make a difference right away. Um, tell us a little bit about your background. How long have you been playing here at Day Christian and how you got started? Uh, well, I started when I was in ninth grade, and uh, I was at the park, and I had a friend, Bilal Marshall. And he told me, hey, you should try to come to Day Christian. So I came to Day Christian and just started. And you loved it ever since? Like, yeah. How, how did you uh, meet Bilal? How... Well, we've been playing together since we was like in the first grade. So we just little kids just grew up playing with each other. Yeah, and it was always quarterback to receiver combination always. with you two? Yeah. Okay. What were some of your best memories of, of, you know, playing out there with him? I mean, now he's gone on to college at Wake Forest. I mean, talk about just his relationship with you guys. With he's just a fun guy, you know. On the field, we just have a connection. And when the ball, I just, every time I think about it, I got to do it for Bilal and the team, help us win. Um, this year, obviously, since he since he is in college, um, what's changed on the team? I guess talk about the offense. What's going to be a little different this year to keep you guys in contention? Well, nothing really is going to change. I still think we can be explosive. We're still going to make score a lot of points. We just have we just need people to step up. And we ready, whoever ready to step up, just come and do your job. We'll be all right. Who's the new quarterback? Uh, Gary Sampson. Okay, and uh, talk a little bit about him, like what makes him a good one at that position. To... Uh, me and Gary, we also play at the park, but we ain't playing on the same team, but we knew of each other, and we just have a connection too where, you know, he's going, I'm going deep, you know, right to put it, and we just, it's good. And uh, Dave Christian's defense, I mean, I always have a good one here, a pretty good one, so how, how are they looking this year? Who are those key guys? Well, our defense should be good, you know, we have kids, we have, we don't have, we lost Ryan Javion, but we, I know I have faith in other kids who will step up. And they might not be as, as, as effective as Ryan, but they'll get the job done. Okay. Um, tell us a little bit about your offseason. You know, I know you got the Duke offer and all that, but uh, what else did you do this offseason to kind of improve your game and work on it? Well, this offseason has been fun. You know, um, we had a 7 7 tournament, and I felt I, I got better. And I felt as a team, we got better. And that was just our route running as a team got better, and just the offense just got more close. Okay. Are you, what else are you going to be, uh, aside from receiver, I know a lot of times people have more than one role on this team. Are you going to do anything else? or? I uh, play receiver, corner, kick return, punt return. might play a little punter. Okay. So uh, how good are you at special teams like that in those positions? I love uh, punt return. I just, when it, when it, when the, just the, how, trying to get past, trying to get to the end zone with all the people running at you, just exciting. And just, and just pumping, I just want to score. Have you, I mean, did you return for a touchdown uh, last year? Uh, last year only had one. You had one? Okay. And for career, is that the, the one or you had more than that? I think I had three or four. Okay. So you have done it before. You've done, yes. been a good uh, – have that in your arsenal to, to contribute to the team. Yes. Okay. Um, how about punting? Did you, did you do any of that last year already? Or nah. This is the first time you're trying out? Yeah, I'm trying out. How's that so far? It's all right. I've punted once before, but that's ultimate, so it's really nothing. But I'll, I'll try. Get the job done. But how far can you can you punt it? I don't know. As long as he gets there, that's how yeah. <laughs> And as long as he doesn't return it, that's how I feel. Okay, so it's more of a hang time thing. Like how, how, how long can you keep it up there? Uh, have you been able to, like, in practice or whatever? No, I haven't really been counting. Been counting, okay. And about, like, le- like uh, how far in practice have you been able to? Probably 50, 50 yards, maybe, something like that? Probably 40. 40, 50 yards, something like that. Okay. Um, just uh, what, you know, talk about at the end of this season, last year this team got to the first round, and, um, you know, I know you guys are expecting big things this year. Talk about the obstacles you're going to face and what needs to happen for you to take the next step, make this team a state title contender. Well, we just can't be complacent with, with like, we just can't be, we, we want to be better than we were last year because we keep losing the first round. Mm-hmm. So even if we're having a good year, we want to do better because, you know, anybody we could lose again in the first round, but we don't want that to happen. So we know how that feels and we hate it. So every day in practice, we're going to push each other so we don't have to have that feeling again. How was the Duke visit, by the way? Like when you went, you went already, and, yes. and how'd, how'd you like it? They have like that great tradition there as far as athletics. You know, I mean, can you talk about just what you experienced over there. It was it was nice. I like the it, coach Cutcliff showed me the indoor facility, which was a that was nice. Like I really like how it was just the AC was blowing, and I, just, I could see myself practicing that. And school wise, the buildings was nice and it was good. They have uh, a couple of good receivers from down here over the last couple of years. Have done big things. I mean, did, did you meet those guys and talk to them a little bit about? Yeah, I, I met Connor Vernon. And he was a good guy. He was just telling me his experience from Miami to Duke. He said it was a good experience and that I should have a good time like he did. All right, Terrence. Thank you very much.